Listen, we have a ton of things that we need to get done on a given day. There's so many. We are the owner. We are the marketer. We're the content creator. We are the accountant. A lot of it can become very taxing on the brain. So to ease off that extra pressure and to really let these devices work for you instead of against you or letting it be another thing that actually distracts you from doing what it is you need to get done. I'm going to be sharing some simple things that you can do and that you can start with uh, automating or using automations on your iPhone. So if you find that your phone is a bit distracting and you want it to go into specific work mode, we can set up a start my work day automation. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is actually create two shortcuts. The first shortcut, it will be a focus mode when it's turned on. And then I'm going to create another shortcut for when the focus mode turns off. And then I'm going to build the automation around that. So in this case, I'm going to actually search for that action and I'm going to look for it and call it focus. So in this case, because I want a specific focus to be turned on when I want to start my work day, I'm going to hit on set focus. So I'm going to actually tap where it says do not disturb. So I'm going to choose work and then instead of off, I'm going to tap where off is and I'm going to choose on until turned off or it can be at a specific time. But if you choose time, you can state what time it is. In this case, I can say, uh, let's just say 4 p.m. And I'm going to tap on done. We're going to click this down arrow here. I'm going to hit on rename. I'm going to call this work mode on tap on done. So the next thing now I'm going to actually build the automation using that specific shortcut. So I'm going to go into automation. I'm going to hit on new automation and then I'm going to choose time of day. So I'm going to say I start to work from let's say 9 a.m. in the morning weekly and I'm going to take off Sunday and Saturday tap on next. All right now I need to choose what actually happened. So, so I wanted to turn on that work mode. So I'm going to go into my favorites folder here and I'm going to choose work mode on. All right. So every single day from 9 a.m. at 9 a.m. that work mode will actually come on. Every time I open a specific app to work in, I want it to do two things. I want it to adjust the brightness of my screen, but also I want it to actually go into a focus mode. I'm going to create another one. I'm going to go focus, set focus mode, right? Turn on creator mode, turn that on, right? I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to do three steps in here, turn creator mode off, right? So I have content planning turned on and off. I'm going to go back into automation. So I'm going to hit on the plus sign and then I'm going to say go back into app. So when CapCut is open, run immediately, tap on next and then I'm going to choose content creation on and then I'm going to create another one. When CapCut is closed run immediately and then i'm going to say turn off that mode all right so let's set, put this one to the test all right so if i actually open cap cut it actually changes and if i swipe down i'm seeing that creator mode is turned on if i wanted to um extend when it's turned on so for example i can add something here called set brightness so by default i'm in that mode for most of the time and notice my brightness is at this level so i can say well okay i want it to be real like super dim maybe six percent for example so when it turns on that creator mode it's going to actually set my brightness to six percent and i go into cap cut notice my screen gets really really dark right and if i swipe down Notice the brightness on my screen went to about 6%. Let's six say at the end of the day, you like to journal. 
So I'm going to select journal. I'm going to hit on create entry. So you can say, leave it as message and you can put your title in as well. And you can choose, it will give you the date. You could choose your location. Uh, you can have it bookmark or when it's run. So we're going to leave it as it is there. I'm just going to rename it to end of and we're going to tap on that. So we have a journal entry. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to go into actions. I'm going to say play music and just say shuffle it. I actually have a sleep mode. So I'm going to set focus and I'm going to actually turn on my sleep mode and turn it on until a specific time. So that specific time would be 6 AM. So you can have multiple different actions in one thing. It just makes sure that it makes sense. All right. So I'm going to tap on done by default. If I tap on this, it's going to actually uh, give me this prompt and I can put in end of the day, the day will end and I hit on done. And then I can do another automation where I say, when wind down begins, and this is where you actually have to set it up inside of the focus. So when wind down begins or when bedtime begins, I will say wind down begins, then do the journal end of day. All right. So you can set if your battery level either rises above or falls below a specific number. When it's below a specific number, whether it's 10% or 5%, what to actually, what you want it to actually do. Do you want it to alert you? Do you want it to put your phone in low power mode so it would have lower consumption? So you can say set to low power mode. So this is something else that you can also add. So when it falls below 5%, put it in low power mode. Uh, we should be able to capture content ideas, especially as creatives. We may have a brain wave or you have this great content idea just popping up and you want to be able to capture that idea and put it into your notes app. It is actually possible using shortcuts. So we're going to go back into shortcuts. I'm going to type at. So I'm going to choose the option that says ask for input. So ask for text and what would be that prompt? So the prompt is what's the big idea? <laughs> and then I'm going to go back into actions and I'm going to look for notes. So I'm going to select notes, create a note. So create a note with, and it's going to be from the input that was placed in there. So in this case, I may put this down as hashtag ID, enter, enter. Then I will choose ask for input. So the next I'm going to choose which folder I want it to go into. And I did create one called inbox. So anything that is inside of this inbox folder, I know it's an ID that I've captured either while I was out on the go somewhere that is not near to my desk. So I'm going to say show alert. So when it says show alert, instead of saying, do you want to continue? I'm going to actually congrats your ID is in the wall. So once I tap on this, it's going to prompt me to say what uh, is the big idea and all the things. And I can tap on done. Once I hit done, it's going to actually say, congrats, your ID is now in the vault. I can tap on OK. And notice it actually opens the notes. It does give me the hashtag ID. I can definitely change that out if I want to. But notice it just gives me that information in there. If I tap on done, I go back into my folder. Notice it's in that inbox folder. So whether you're a content creator, business owner, or just tired of repetitive digital tasks, now you know why iOS automations are a game changer. Start simple. One automation can save you 15 to 30 minutes a day, and that adds up fast. And more than time, it gives you clarity peace and mental space. If you want to go deeper and get my exact automation templates, plus the systems I use for content and business planning, grab the creator flow kit. The link is in the description. And if you found value in this, share this video with someone who's constantly glued to their phone, but still doing everything manually.